Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. I am back this time with a new video and will be sharing with you all our Bali itinerary. As you all know that we recently had visited Bali and uh, we already have started uploading our pics and our videos in our channel. Do watch that first and then only switch into this blog and you will be getting every details about our Bali itinerary regarding our accommodation, our uh, the food, how we travel from one place to another, the transfers, the hotel recommendations, resorts and the best places to visit each and everything you will be getting detailed uh, description in this video so do watch this video till the end and uh, from among you all guys if any one of you uh, is planning to visit Bali itinerary then this video is a must watch for you so please do watch this video and subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so without any delay let's begin our itinerary let me brief you first it was a nine days trip for first four nights we stayed in Ubud then for one night we stayed in Nusa Penida then for two nights we went to the Gili Islands and then for the last two nights we stayed in Uluwatu so how we did and whatever the breakthrough I'll be sharing everything to begin with first day we uh, traveled we boarded a flight from Kolkata to Bali and the, it was a five hours journey and it, uh, in between there was a layover in Malaysia airport and uh, we reached Bali at around uh, three o'clock uh, in the afternoon uh, then from the airport till our uh, resort it was uh, like around uh, one hour distance so we at the resort we reached around four o'clock after reaching our resort we freshened up we had a lunch in the resort itself uh, the name of our resort is two seasons resort as you can see in the screen it was a big lavish property with a private swimming pool and that was a plus point for me with the links and the tariff rates are given in the description box below please go through that in case you need it so after reaching our resort the first thing we did was our host of the resort that is mr nano who was a very generous and kind-hearted person we went to him we booked a scooty from there itself and then uh, after having our lunch uh, in the evening we took our scooty and then we went to the uh, ubud market to do some street shopping so that night we didn't do much we just did street shopping then we had our dinner at a very famous cafe over there and uh, we then came back and we called off the day now comes day two so today we woke up really very early in the morning because we had to capture the sun rays of Tegalangan Rice Terrace. It's a beautiful rice terrace. Uh, we went to the Tegalangan Rice Terrace first. We captured some beautiful pictures. Then uh, second, we went to Alas Harum, which is a very picturesque uh, spot as uh, you have seen in my Instagram. And uh, also I am leaving some of the photos. Just look at these photos. It's a very, be it's a very beautiful place. And uh, so after clicking the pictures, uh, we had our breakfast in Kretia Ubud, which is present in Alas Harum itself. After exiting from Alas Harum, we met a nice person, Mr. Komang, who also helped us in uh, guiding the way to the Pura Tirtha Impul. He's a very generous person as well. I'm leaving his number in the description box in case you want to, you uh, need a guide or you want some uh, information regarding those places, you can contact this person, Mr. Komang. I'm leaving every details over here. Okay, so after meeting Mr. Komang, then he took us to Pura Tirtha Impul. Then after visiting Pura Tirtha Impul, we did all the rituals and all uh, the like uh, holy water bath and all that. It's um, uh, it's not compulsory. We felt like uh, dipping into that holy water. So after doing all that, we came out from that place. We clicked many beautiful pictures. We came out from the place. We said bye bye to Mr. Koman, and uh, then we again came back to Ubud Market. We had our uh, lunch over there, and then at the end, we went to the Sacred Monkey Forest that is uh, located in Ubud itself. It's uh, like a very nice uh, uh, monkey forest. You will see many monkeys doing wild notorious activities here and there. So we went there. We spent there around one and one and a half hour. Like uh, it opens from morning nine o'clock and it ends at, uh, it closes at uh, evening uh, six o'clock. So we had to hurry and rush and go there. So within four o'clock we reached the place. We booked the tickets over there itself. And then we roamed the entire uh, sacred monkey forest, click pictures and then we came back. And uh, then at night again, like we were uh, roaming the streets of Ubud itself and uh, we had our dinner and uh, we ended the, our day. 
day three we kept today very light because we already were exhausted from the past two days so we thought that today we will not do much today we just visited two famous waterfalls in bali that is the tegenungan waterfall and then we went to tukar chempung waterfall guys these two waterfalls are very far from each other so we used to turn on our google uh, gps maps and then we used to uh, go to all these places if you are uh, also doing a solo traveling or you are going with your family you can also do that and uh, then after going to tukar chempung waterfall then uh, we uh, had our lunch somewhere in between and then we went to uh, maya ubud resort for famous uh, balinese spa and flower bath in ubud balinese spa and flower bath is very famous i did my personal choice was maya ubud spa because i had done a lot of research and i felt like going over there and like having that uh, uh, flower bath by uh, overlooking the beautiful view of that scenery it was like lovely and beautiful as you can see in the screen but in uh, bali you can see in many shops many places offering this spa and flower bath so you can do it anywhere you feel like according to your budget so after doing that uh, flower bath which was a must need and a must rejuvenation for me because in these two waterfalls we had to climb a lot and we had to like walk also a really very uh, long long distances so for that reason i really needed a rejuvenation so for that reason i went for a spa and a flower bath so by this i ended the day had a dinner at uh, one of the cafes in ubud again in day 4 we visited the famous lempuang temple and the tirtha ganga guys the lempuang temple is was really far from our resort so we didn't go through a scooter we hired a cab from our resort itself and then we had to uh, even wake up very early in the morning like we woke up around like 5 o'clock in the morning and we reached the place around 7 am you guys can understand so early we had to Uh, go over there because otherwise there will be a long queue and after reaching the place also we got a long queue we had to wait for a number and that place is famous only for that um, mandatory pictures as you can see in the screen guys i found that place that is quite overrated because uh, bali is such a place it's full of pictures queue places like anywhere uh, and uh, like most of the places you get to click beautiful pictures but uh, like getting up so early in the morning and rush shing for just two or three pictures at that place and i also understand that uh, that location is really serene because clicking picture by having a background of mount agung like it's totally a different thing but i felt like uh, if you guys if you want to click pictures then there are many other locations also so it's not mandatory that you have to uh, go there like for first time i felt like it was uh, like too much of overhype and it was full of crowd so it's up to you and if i am mistaken then i'm sorry for that after visiting the lempuang temple then we went to tirtha ganga which was near to that only then uh, after spending around like uh, half an hour over there clicking beautiful pictures then we came out from there and uh, then uh, we went to a famous coffee plantation site to experience and taste the world's most expensive coffee and that's the luwa coffee if you want any details regarding what is luwa coffee and why is it so much of expensive then the link is given in the description box below and also i'm leaving a card over there do check that So day three we didn't do much. We just visited the Lempuang Temple and the Tirtha Ganga, and uh, then we went to the coffee plantation site. Even uh, I was very eager to visit the Tana Lot, which is in the west direction of Bali. But uh, because we were running out of time, we had to rush here and there. So for that reason, we couldn't visit Tana Lot. But I suggest you guys that if you can just like uh, skip the Lempuang Temple and first visit Tirtha Ganga, then you go to the Tana Lot. I think then that's a very good idea. so that's my personal recommendation so do a bit of research before visiting these places of course you guys will do and uh, so this way uh, we ended our uh, last day in ubud next day we left for nusa penida uh, we left ubud very early in the morning at around 7:30 and we reached at nusa penida at around like uh, 8:45 uh, in the morning itself we booked our ferry from the link as it's shown in the screen and i'll be also be leaving a link in the description box below do check that if you want to book your tickets from this link as well and uh, after reaching uh, nusa penida at around like 8:45 then we went to our resort the name of our resort was uh, blue harbor resort the descriptions again and the links i'm leaving in the description box do check that and uh, after reaching over there 
we had our breakfast in the resort itself we didn't get a room as we arrived before our check-in time so we went to the cloak room we freshened up we changed and uh, we booked our scooty from that resort itself and then we uh, left that place for our first spot in Nusa Perida and that's the Broken Beach. After uh, reaching the Broken Beach, it was a really very beautiful spot. We took many drone shots, we clicked many pictures. We were there around like uh, one hour and uh, we spent some really good time over there. From Broken Beach, then we went to the second spot that's the Kalinking Beach. As you can see on the screen, the Kalinking Beach is famous because of the shape of the beach is uh, like that of a dinosaur as you can see and uh, after reaching the Kalinking beach again we took their uh, beautiful pictures we also had a lunch over there because it was already afternoon and uh, the last spot was the diamond beach we went there at around like it was really evening it was going to be sunset so we hurriedly went over there we uh, spent like around half an hour over there we didn't go down because it was already time for sunset it and it would take us around one hour to go really down the beach of diamond beach but i wanted to next time if i visit uh, nusa penida then i'll surely go over there and show you beautiful pictures so like after spending half an hour we came back to our resort and guys let me tell you one thing uh, all these beaches all the three beaches in nusa penida are the famous spots over there people go there to visit all these places and uh, these uh, beaches are really really far from one another so plan accordingly whenever you go and uh, one important tip i want to give you guys if you are a pro in riding a scooty or a bike like if you have experience in riding in the hills like we have the experience because we live in hills so if you guys like have the experience and you are sure enough that you can ride in the hilly areas then only go for a scooty okay otherwise you can also hire a cab cab facilities are also available there in every resorts so if you feel like that uh, no uh, like i'm not sure about riding in the hilly areas then please don't do because uh, roads in Nusa Penida they are smooth but they are really very very steepy so from my personal experience uh, it's uh, I'm telling you guys if you guys are really like uh, sure that you can ride in those areas then only do book a scooty or else you can hire a cab after coming back in our resort uh, we were uh, really tired uh, we changed then uh, we had a very nice lovely swimming pool in that uh, resort so we spent some time over there then we had a dinner at that resort itself and uh, we ended our day at uh, Nusa Venida. Next day early morning after having a breakfast we left Nusa Penida and uh, we proceeded towards the Gili Islands. Um, we booked a ferry for Gili Travangan and uh, the details of the booking and all of the ferry I'm leaving it in the screen please uh, go through that and um, it took around like uh, two hours from Nusa Penida to reach uh, Gili Travangan. Uh, we stayed at the Gili Travangan. Guys, uh, Gili comprises of three islands, uh, Gili Travangan, Gili Meno and Gili Air. Mostly people live in Gili Travangan because it's a very happening island and you will see that all the crowd and all the hustle and bustle over there. And uh, it was the best thing that happened to us in Bali. We did feel like that we will be uh, enjoying so much in Gili Islands. So I'll come to that later on. So after reaching Gili Islands, we uh, stayed at a resort named uh, Kokotoa Resort. We already booked that beforehand. The Kokotoa Resort was a boutique resort and it's a very beautiful resort. Uh, the whole of the resort was uh, painted with white and blue colors. I felt like I'm somewhere in Santorini, Greece, though I haven't visited yet. But seeing at all the beautiful pictures in Google and all, I felt like I'm in Santorini. So it was a very lovely and very nice uh, resort. Our stay was also excellent and uh, like uh, even i recommend you guys that whenever you visit uh, gili islands do uh, stay for one night at least over there we stayed for two nights in kokotua resort and uh, after reaching uh, we reached uh, in gili islands around uh, 12 o'clock in the uh, afternoon after reaching over there uh, we booked two cycles me for one uh, one for me and one for kaushik Gili Island is an eco-friendly island. They don't support fuel-related vehicles. 
uh, as we uh, the first impression was when we reached gilly islands we can see that horse carts riding everywhere so we were a bit of uh, like uh, thinking like how we will commute there from one place to another but after uh, reaching our resort we saw that people were riding cycles so we uh, rented uh, two bicycles for me and for kaushik and uh, then we uh, roamed there everywhere guys if you want there are also battery related scooties battery operated scooties sorry you can also book that but uh, we felt like that uh, um cycle will be convenient for us and also uh, those who don't know how to ride a bicycle for them you can also uh, travel from one place to another through a horse cart but uh, we don't we didn't find it convenient because uh, if we have a personal bicycle over there then we can go anywhere we can roam anywhere we want and also we can park them anywhere we want so after renting two bicycles around evening we started our journey to roam the whole of gilly islands and explore all the paths through our own so we went from one cafe to another guys uh, in gilly islands the culture is of like uh, party life night life and uh, also like uh, if you love partying if you love like chilling out in the islands if you like all this those things then gilly islands is the best one for you so that night we didn't do much we just roamed from here to there we went from one cafe to another we went near the seaside we were chilling from here uh, here to there we were like having a very gala time there and uh, we ended our first day at gilly islands next day we woke up so we already we had our snorkeling trip over there it was a 4 hour snorkeling trip we booked a snorkeling tour online the link is given in the description box guys if you want to check uh, you can also do the snorkeling tour booking from the resort or on the spot booking also uh, whichever you want that's also available but we booked it in online the snorkeling trip can be done in two ways one is uh, you can hire a private boat or also you can do it through a shared boat like what we did but uh, i suggest you guys to do the snorkeling trip in a private boat uh, that's a good experience the price is bit higher than the shared one but the experience will be good for you all now what happens in the 4 hour snorkeling tour they will first take you to a place where uh, you will do snorkeling and you get to witness the beautiful full statues all standing together beneath the sea that's a really mesmerizing experience and i think it's a must do for everyone you have to do snorkeling and you can witness all those statues uh, beneath the sea all standing together and it's like really lovely after that they will take you to another place where uh, you get to witness the beautiful corals all uh, beneath the sea then the last point is uh, they will take you to a place where you will see uh, like turtles everywhere that place i didn't like much because the waves were really dangerous so i didn't do the last one i was in the boat only but kaushik was brave enough to uh, dive into the sea and uh, witness the turtles over there and uh, for lunch they took us to gilly air that's another island as i already told you gilly comprises of three islands so they for lunch they took us to gilly air and uh, we had the lunch over there but uh, it's a very small island and very small and very tiny tiny island that gilly air. we didn't spend much of time like for one hour we we were over there then we then they brought us to our island from where we started so after coming back uh, we went to our resort we took a bath and then again we proceeded to enjoy the night life of gilly islands because it was already evening we already had a lunch so we thought of let's start our journey let's uh, enjoy today the night life of gilly islands so it was a very lovely experience we had a mesmerizing experience in gilly islands so i suggest every one of you guys whenever you visit um, bali don't miss the gilly islands no matter if you are a party person or not but uh, if you visit gilly islands you will Uh, find the place very serene and very calm and very like uh, so much of pictures queue of places over there so many beautiful spots to click pictures it's a very uh, lovely experience so this way we ended our day at gilly islands next day we left gilly islands and proceeded for uluwatu we took a ferry from gilly tea port and uh, proceeded towards padang bai port Uh, after reaching Padang Bai Port, we took a taxi from there, and we had to reach our hotel. We stayed at Hilton Garden Inn Hotel. It was quite far from that port, so we had to take a taxi. After reaching the hotel, we uh, rented a scooter from a nearby place, 
and then uh, after uh, freshening up ourselves after taking bath and changing everything then uh, we went outside we took the scooty and then started our journey in Uluwatu uh, so the first thing th uh, that we went in Uluwatu was the rock bar uh, it was already uh, lunch time so we went to the rock bar to uh, enjoy the beautiful sunset over there so we had our lunch over there we spent it like beautiful time uh, there it was a very happening and one of the famous cafe in Uluwatu area. Uh, so we thought of going over there. After spending some beautiful time and enjoying the sunset, then uh, we thought of going to the Seminyak beach. Then from there again, we took a scooty and went to the Seminyak beach. The Seminyak beach is really a very like uh, crowded place. It's a good crowd full of hustle and bustle everything. Uh, you will feel like that you are in Goa when you go, went to, go to Seminyak beach because you can see beach shacks everywhere live music going on then people selling small small items and all so we felt like that and uh, in the seminiac beach we didn't do much we just we went to a shack we ordered our food and over there we spent most of the time we had our dinner and then we came back to a hotel and so this way we ended our first day at Uluwatu next day started by visiting the Patai Pandava beach uh, it was a white sand beach and it had link with our with the Pandavas of Mahabharata. Uh, I'm leaving a card over here. You can see the full details in our blog, previous blog. If you have watched it, then you already know the details. After visiting the Patai Pandava beach, then we went to the Nyang Nyang beach. That beach is also famous because of its blue water and serene uh, uh, sand. After having breakfast near the Nyang Nyang beach, then we went to the Uluwatu temple. That temple is very famous in the Uluwatu area. After spending some time, then from there we went to Padang Padang beach. That beach is also very famous and very lovely one. We enjoyed the waters over there, took a sun bath, spent a lot of time. Then from uh, Padang Padang beach, we went again to Uluwatu temple just to uh, witness the Kechak dance. Guys, Kechak dance is a very famous one in Bali. We wanted to see that because uh, it has some relation with the Vedas and the dance form that they do. It's also very uh, like, it's a like treat to the eyes. It's a very nice thing thing to see and for us it's like a such a, a new thing to witness so we thought of again going to the Uluwatu temple and uh, then watching the Kechak dance so after going there we took uh, many beautiful pictures and videos of the dance so I'm leaving the card over there for more details then after uh, doing all these activities and stuff then at uh, last we went to Ulu Cliff House it was already evening uh, guys the Kechak dance uh, it starts at 5 o'clock in the evening so if you go in the morning time then you won't be able to see like uh, that so that's the reason why we had to visit this place too twice just to witness the Kechak dance so it was already evening and uh, we went to Ulu Cliff House to have some snacks and then from Ulu Cliff House we uh, spent it some time and proceeded towards our hotel we had to come back to our hotel early because next day we had our flight but in the middle of the road we thought of having the dinner that was also quite early so we went to a very famous uh, spanish cafe that cafe was really very uh, the ambience was really very good and the food was really really delicious so we enjoyed our uh, dinner and our last night at Uluwatu in a very lovely way we enjoyed our full stay over there then came back to our hotel because we had to do a lot of packing because the next day we had our flight so by this way we ended our last day in Uluwatu so this was all about our uh, Bali itinerary trip hope you all guys liked it and uh, the rate chart I'm leaving it in the screen do check that So I'm ending my blog of my Bali itinerary. Hope you all liked it. If you guys have any queries and any suggestions regarding this uh, itinerary blog, then please let us know. Please uh, leave us comments. And uh, if you have any suggestions or like if you have any queries, you want to know something or you, you have any information, then also please let us know in the comments. And uh, guys, uh, please uh, like, share and subscribe our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. We are already putting our videos up. We will be going to many more places and uh, do support us so that uh, we also get motivated to uh, give you more and more information uh, so till then uh, bye take care and uh, keep watching and keep subscribing off track couple